918, you're on the air. Hey, Doug, it's Christy, this country girl's life. Hi, how are you? Hey. Hey, I'm good. Um, I have a lot of the info you guys were talking about on your live that you were asking questions about. Oh, awesome. Spit it out. Okay, so you didn't know the boyfriend's name. It's Andrew Tyler G. Diedrich, I think is how you pronounce it. He was a MMA fighter. Diedrich. Um, it's G I E R I C H. Garrett. I think. Garrett. 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 Yeah. Um. Yeah. His last fight was in 2018. Yeah, Four wins, eight. three losses. Oh, so. He's, um. Yeah, he should have waited to go pro. Um. A lot of people were saying that they thought the 2385 was a birthday. It is not the daughter's birthday. Her birthday is the 22nd of June, 86. Um, I did find last night on Google Maps, there is, I don't know, did you see the arrest record for Andrew, the boyfriend? Mm -mm. Well, most recently, uh, he just, got out of jail. He had to spend six days in jail and he has to show proof within 20 days of going to a substance abuse program. And there is one called victory something victory. victory I can't ha- remember victory, how many notes in like front of me. Victory house or something. Yes. And if you look at it where she was found is right there. It's, very close. She was found on the Georgia Highway. Let me grab my notes. But in the police report where they found her, she was found on Georgia 15 northbound prior to Victory Home Lane. And Victory Home Incorporated is on 157 Victory Home Lane in Clarksville. And it's an all-male Substance abuse rehab facility. Is it all in house or is it in outpatient? It's in house. All right, so we'd have to figure out how he would get out of there if he if he's the one that did this, right? Well, no. Here's here's my theory. What if the neighbor that heard the commotion, that heard the arguing the night before, mm-hmm. she also said that a younger female came to visit on the weekends and in the evenings, and she would hear fighting. Her daughter, Amanda, and Andrew have been ordered by the court to stay away from each other, but they're not. They're living together in a house that's owned by Steve, Debbie's husband. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, what if the parents finally were like, enough, this domestic violence relationship, it's too much, we're done, like, either be done with him or you're done with us. What if Amanda was like, okay, let's take him to this rehab facility, he'll get clean, everything will be better. What if they were headed in that direction, didn't plan on going there, they found that red tote bag. What if that was supposed to be carrying the stuff that Andrew needed for rehab, but it actually was carrying the tarp and whatever they needed to take care of Debbie with? So you say, you're thinking maybe like her daughter and him sent yeah. himself the, the money and the message? Well, the money thing could have Probably, been... Probably, or the Venmo message to me feels like a code. So Debbie and Steve share their Facebook. They also share the Venmo account. So when this transaction was made, instead of Amanda calling Steve right away, she apparently goes and drives around for two hours trying to find her mom. Well, when Steve found out about it, he called and made the missing persons report. Now, when he looks at the transaction, he's obviously going to see the note, right? Right. Well, it, when you're looking on the map of where she was found and the road to the rehab and all that, there's a Highway 23 that turns into 385, 2385. Hmm. What if she was saying that she to the house is in the blue flower pot because that's how they got in the house and got to her? You said Highway 283 no, turns into crazy. Right? No, it's not crazy. It's not. I, I, Highway I, I, 23 I, 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 turns into 385. 
Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, I couldn't sleep last night. This is this is what I did. So Steve would be Steve would be a good fall guy for this, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. Right. I really, well, I really don't feel like Steve's involved. I really don't. At first, I did. He was like my first suspect. Well, yeah, but I our, really yeah, don't think well, that he's first, involved. This is the first that we are looking into this, and also I have to say, like, uh, that's why I said that I'm not saying that it's him. I'm just saying we got to find out if there's life insurance, right. where his alibis were, where his, where his phone spings were. Did he? Oh, oh, he works at a bank. What's he's a name? loan officer at a bank in Athens, Georgia. Okay. So the bank so, so he'd be on camera and everything else. So yeah. Yeah, he he's a loan officer. Yeah. So, so he'd be on camera. All right. My first video I did, I said, Yeah, it's gotta be the husband. Has to be the husband. But when I did all this research into Amanda and Andrew's arrest history and everything last night, my suspicion is completely on those two. Especially the boyfriend. Well did you see the note that he left? That's at their what last domestic violence? I'm getting, ready, I'm getting ready to read that to you guys right now. Um, yeah. This is from last year. It looks like a five-year-old wrote it. It's in a green marker in a notebook pad. And it says, have a nice life, you lying ass, whatever. It was bleeped out. Don't ever Bitch. contact. Okay, there. Thank you. <laughs> Don't ever contact me again. If you or your family ever come near me again, I will hurt them. I'm not stupid. Here's... Wait, loves loves your I can't read that's bleeped out too. Oh, P.S. I'm not stupid. Yeah, I couldn't figure that one out. Loves your something boy. Okay, so that was a year ago. So yeah, I, I'm I yep. can see I can see what you're saying. That makes sense. So maybe so, the argument the night before was between Debbie and the boyfriend. Maybe, maybe. she was like. I you feel know, like I it, it could have been house, between I'm Amanda and the boyfriend. Yeah. Let me let me tell you something about MMA fighters. Uh, a man named John Copenhaver goes by War Machine. He's in prison for life. Right. I beat him in rest. I beat him in wrestling in high school. Um, he tried to kill his porn star girlfriend. <coughs> MMA fighters are crazy. Not gonna lie. Well, a lot of them had a, plenty of concussions too, to where their brains just don't work right. Right, CTE. Mm -hmm. Yep, CTE is out right. Right. Look, when they had the um, the big blowout in May of 2021, her stepdad in the police report, Steve said that they have had a violent relationship, Amanda and Andrew pretty constantly over right. the last few years that they've been together. So I feel like as a parent, because I have kids and it would be hard, but wouldn't you get to the point that you're like, hey, even the law wants you to stay away from each other. You keep coming back together. You keep getting arrested. We're done. Yeah. The mother. Leave him. We're not helping you anymore. The daughter, the daughter has a history of lying to police and having abusive boyfriends, blah, blah, blah. I mean. She got arrested right. twice for battery against two of her boyfriends and was ordered to stay away from them in 08 and 2012. Yeah. Hmm. She was on probation and she violated her probation because she tried to provide a false sample to a drug lab for drug testing. So there's the drug problem. They're both a mess. Yeah, they're both a mess. Yeah, that's straight up a tweaker move too. What what they did to her. Yeah. Right. And then my theory on her it's grabbing not, the tree. You know what, she had a, a bad it, back. It, what if she was trying to help herself get up? What if she was trying to stand up and she grabbed that tree trying to stand up? I, well, yeah. Well, it depends on where her hand was grasping the tree. If it was holding the the very right. bottom, I can make sense right. of it. But if her hand's up high, and it's I, straight there's it seems like her hand was placed there. right plus i think if she was on fire there would have been spastic movements just to say like it wouldn't have been just that one yeah move. right so now that i know this yeah if about, her hand was even even kind of on the tree and in, in any way when she died if rigor set in it's gonna it's gonna look like she was grasping it and you know what her daughter it makes sense her daughter sent that that money uh from her her own her, her mom's phone 
Mm-hmm. Whatever, because like they need more drug money. Yep, that's exactly what I was getting ready to say after reading this. And that's, well, that's probably every cent they if had you in, look in up, that Venmo. Probably yeah. everything they had in that Venmo account. Right. Fox News just put out an article a couple hours ago, and there's body cam footage of the boyfriend at the last um, DV incident between him and Amanda. And he's saying on the body cam that she had, they had set up, I don't know if it's been no or what, but they had an account set up together. They were split up. She kicked him out of the house and he was saying that she was taking five or six hundred dollars of his pay every week and spending it on drugs. And that's why he broke the no contact order to go over there because he was pissed because she was taking his money. And then, according to him, she was buying drugs with it. Wow. Yeah, I think you're right, Doug. I think that that whole, I think this this right now definitely looks like the daughter sent the money to herself and just put that little note in there to make it look good. Because she would know where the where the where the house key is. Like, yep. There's no reason to you would think. Or, or have her own house key, unless. Well, yeah, that's that's weird too. Unless the dad didn't want her having access to the house. I mean, if she's well, desperate for money, do you want like, her to have access to your house to come in and steal stuff? Okay, so here, here, here's the theory then. Uh, whoever had that extra key obviously had to leave it back somehow. Mm -hmm. So whoever, whoever got a Debbie out of her house because she wasn't supposed to leave that day had that extra key and it had to be returned. Or it was left when they left. They put it in that in that that blue flower pot when they left. Right. They need to ask Steve. Is that where they always kept the spare key? Well, if they are these big drug addicts, I don't think they keep a spare key anywhere at that house. I think they well anywhere like in a flower pot or where Tweakers going to look. I think they bury it somewhere mm -hmm. right next to if they're smart. Like if you know drug addicts, if you if you're gone, they'll come in and they'll they'll steal all your shit and then come back and help you look for it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. More, by, the way, by the way, by the way, can someone put a country girl's life's channel up in the chat uh, so people can go over there, like, share, and subscribe? You can come on panel anytime you like too. Uh, I'll send you a link, or if you email me, I can email you a link. You're welcome to come on anytime so there, as well. There's yeah, I told you. Um, I was going to say, give me your phone number or a link or whatever. Um, when I have information, I can jump in. Cool. Yeah. I'll. Uh, is this this is your real number, right? Yeah, this is my real number. All right, cool. I'll text you. What's your name again? Um, it's the channel is This Country Girl's Life. Gotcha. Thank you. She's no longer a JT fan. <laughs> no, we fun. had we had it out bad. Uh, that's why you're that's why you're back in business here. Um, <laughs> yeah, we had we had it out so bad. I'm so glad I did not have him on my channel. Good, Good for you. Um, Good for you. Uh, go ahead. Dave. I'm surprised he's not going after me on his channel. Yeah. Well, he's no one talks about him anymore, so we're good. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I, I believe that that's uh, that's really, really plausible, possible, well, plausible, there was a, probable, right. everything. Well, there was well, a I just thought it was weird that there's this rehab facility, and it's right there. It's on the freaking road that is mentioned in the police report that she was found right before that road. So was he actually, I don't booked, believe in actually, coincidences. Was he actually booked into the facility at that point or no? I don't know. He had just got out of jail. Um, he went to jail on the 16th and had to stay in for six days. Um, so this would have been before he went to jail, but his court order had come out prior to that. And in that court order, he was ordered to get into a rehab facility within 20 days. He had to show proof. Right. So I'm wondering if he was saying, like, hey, take me here and get me set up in this facility so I can show proof. Right. You know, right. Get, get him registered or whatever. Right. Registered for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, and so then maybe, maybe, maybe it would be like, after I get out of my six days of jail, then I'll go check myself in. They probably wouldn't be able to tell us that if we were to call them either. No. No, probably not. I'd be curious to know like, where he's at now. Is he? Is he at a facility he's back or at is the he house not? With Amanda. 
No, oh, no, he's back okay. at the house with Amanda. Wow. Hmm. Living oh, in a house oh. that I'm sure I'm sure they're not paying rent. Steve owns it. I'm sure they're not charging him rent. I almost wonder if I called this, if I could figure out the exact name of the place and called it and just asked and said, hey, is, is Andrew there? Uh, we able to speak um, to him? And pretended uh, like I... Victory Home there. Incorporated. Victory Home? Yeah, you could try that, but with Victory hip Home homes, I don't think they're going to tell you. They're not going to be able to tell you. Even even no. if you're a cop, they, they won't even give you information or well, let you go in there right i just want to see how they answer my question though as if i were to say is, is andrew available for me to talk to him they, oh no he's not right now or i would you know what you know what i would go with is 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 what's the registration process like that way you can find out if you could if, if like say i got you know i you want me to you want me to call real quick i got something i could say if you want go ahead, well go my ahead. my go question is how much does the place cost is it two thousand three hundred eighty five dollars well we'll ask that and then we'll ask what the registration process is like uh because i have to show the courts that i have yeah. proof that before i go to jail that yeah, i'm gonna go be for it. Going yeah. to rehab absolutely right? go for it that'd be a good get hey every little uh, bit help well yeah as long as you guys have the, what's the name again victory how or victory home uh say it again ma'am Victory Home Incorporated. There you go. I wrote it down. Yeah. Where, it's, where's, the where's, the, the where address it? is, it's 157 Victory Home Lane, Clarksville, Georgia. Clarksville. Clarksville, okay. And how far was that from, okay, I see now. Yep, I'm looking it up, okay. Sorry, guys, I'm talking to myself. I apologize. <laughs> Right. It's okay if you start answering yourself. I'm gonna have to just take you off the stream. Okay, no, well, gonna, uh, you can ask yourself whatever you want, but when you answer yourself, then I'll be like, you don't need us. Right, uh, right. I'll be getting kicked off, then I do that all the time. Uh, yeah, you'll be good. You'll be good. <laughs> yeah, but in her daughter, her daughter actually got there without even having the coordinates. She just had like kind of semi location, sure, right? Well, allegedly, the Athens Clark County Police gave her the approximate ping that they got from Sirius XM. And she says that when she was driving out there, she saw all the cops and that's how she knew where it was. But I don't know that the police would have given her that information. Well, her daughter's the one who called her in missing. Right. Actually, Steve's the one that called. Is, is, oh, really? I thought her okay. daughter called after, yeah, uh, after Amanda. Because her, her mom didn't answer at 317 after the Venmo, she said. And so she got worried. And I thought she called. That's what the article I thought I read. Well, after after that, she went and drove around for two hours trying to find her mom. Well, then well, she got a hold of Steve. Well, hold on. And if, it's there's five no, if, there's something. No relative, if there's no relatives that live close or anything like that, uh, where would she? I mean, uh -uh. I know she said she drove around to the Walmart and thing like this. But why would her mom? Uh -huh. go to, why would her mom go to Walmart? Exactly. It's kind of sucks. Let me see if I have the time that Steve filed the report. But he called in. It was at five something that he called the report in that she was missing. And my question is, if that message scared her so bad, why didn't she call Steve right away? Right. And say, hey, where's mom? Do you know what's going or, on? Or I got this nine, weird. Or 911 would work. Exactly, that would have worked as well. Yeah, that's that's like um, a nine one one moment. Like they're not going to let me go. Um, that means that they're going to kill you. Right. right. It's obviously not going to end well for her. Right. So call nine one one. Hey, uh, I just got this Venmo from my mom. Go to the police station right away. Hey, I just got this. This is kind of scary. Right. Yeah, I mean, and I can't get a hold of her. Yeah, and she won't answer. I mean, instead of driving around for two hours and wasting time, why not? If she actually did that, she might just be saying that because I'm, I'm really leaning towards that this this was her. After hearing all that, well, it's it's weird too that the time the time that Steve called in the missing persons report almost exactly coincides with the time that her vehicle was spotted before they knew it was attached to a missing persons case. So this is like a home takeover. This is what you call a home takeover. The daughter and the boyfriend has now got Steve so fucking scared that he's next, and they're taking yeah, over right. as well. Yeah. It's Maybe that's a right? mess move. It's a total mess move. Maybe that two hours she spent driving around 
taking that money to go find her drugs. Or she was high as high as a kite and she had to come down a bit. Uh-huh. She was so so erratic when she got to the scene. That happens too when you're high as shit. Right? Did they, I wonder if they tested her or polygraphed her? That's my question. Next, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Well, they, they served a search warrant on her house on the right. 14th, and they did take some stuff, but they haven't specified what it was. I know <laughs> the boyfriend said that they took their phones, but I'm sure they took, you know, computers and whatever. Oh, yeah. But they did take stuff from Amanda's house. They just haven't said what it was. Oh, they took, well, they took items to compare DNA, too, to the scene. They took items. Oh, I'm sure them, they maybe yeah. bed sheets, some underwear, things like that to to test. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they had to do that. Well, and it's an hour drive from Athens to where her car was found. Right. There has to be some kind of camera footage along the way. There has to be. Right. Or I mean, let's say that I mean, let's say they never even made it to the rehab. I mean, it'd be what if they never made it to the rehab? That was the plan. Right. Get to the mm-hmm. rehab. And hey, I need to get this information for before I go to jail next week or whatever it is, or for court. And uh, they just never make it. She's overtaken in the car. I, yeah. I don't think they had any intention of going to the rehab. I think that was just a ruse. Well, it was something. I it, really it, do. It, 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 it would have had to be to get her to go that way because if she wasn't supposed to leave the house, and that means Steve wasn't in agreement with her helping them in any way, probably at that point. Right. Right. Or something happened. Well, and I'm like you. How how does she know that she only left with her driver's license and debit card if she wasn't there? Right. Because she watched her take yeah, it. I, mean, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't walk in when my mom was alive. I knew her so well, and I knew that house like the back of my hand. But I couldn't walk in there and be like, "Yep, these are the only two things that are missing." Right. It's all fixed together pretty good. And like, where what? is the phone? Yeah. Exactly. Where's her phone? Right, How does she make Venmo payment it without a phone? If she leaves with her driver's exactly. license and her debit card, that means she left without her phone. They didn't ping the phone, did they? They pinged no. the satellite radio for the car. No, they tried They tried pinging the phone. I just never heard if they found the phone. Yeah, but, no, they but they did try to ping the yeah. phone, but, but they, they found her using the, the, the Sirius car. XM. And Sirius yeah. XM contacted mm-hmm. the Athens Police Department and let them know that, hey, we've here's the location of the GPS yep. coordinates. So, like, and let's, Athens called Habersham let's, County, and Habersham County went out there and found the car. Yeah. I don't, it, it's crazy, but I really feel like everything points at the daughter and the boyfriend. The boyfriend, for sure, I feel like it has to be involved. I'd be shocked so, if he wasn't. Let's say that the night before, the parents or the mom, I'm going to say, found out that, you know, that they were together staying in the house that the father owns and there's a big argument about it and 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 the daughter says you know he, he's going to rehab blah 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 so on oh, and so forth Back and all that one second. you know they yeah, went to ahead. dinner that night so amanda says i went to dinner on september 9th with her yeah. right that evening before she yeah, she said that she so saw what, her that night so, and everything was normal is no, what she no, said. What I would like to know is uh, what was the conversation about? Right. Why did you guys That's have it. a mm-hmm. secret dinner? Why didn't why wasn't Steve invited to the di- dinner? Why was it just you and your mom? That could or have was been it you, your mom, and your boyfriend? Right? Yep. I mean that Yeah, that she said that she saw her that night and everything was normal. And the boyfriend what is, said what does that normal mean? They saw him last exactly that's what i said in my video i'm like is normal arguing and fighting for me that's not normal but for them is that normal because she right, said that- let's see when questioned by police amanda said she last saw her mom the night before she disappeared and that everything was normal andrew said debbie had brought them lunch on friday and then she went missing on saturday So he makes it sound like she brought him lunch and then he didn't see her that night. But Amanda makes it sound like she saw her that night and everything was normal. Whatever that is. Hmm. Well, what's, well, that's like meth head talk. Like you didn't, you don't say like, yeah, no, 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 no. She was normal. Uh, What does normal mean though? You, You just can't, that is, that's just not something you, she was, uh, 
she was overly excited when we had dinner because she hadn't seen me in a bit. Or that could also be. Them. Or we sat and talked about uh, what what uh, you know my new job or her job or you know or we said there's no real conversation, right? That could also be. Yeah, normal is very vague. Yeah, very vague. That could be the daughter just saying that to make everything to take all the any attention away from her. You know what I mean? Like, oh, when everything was normal, don't worry about it. You know. Right. Yeah. But I was coming down off drugs and I was meeting with her about lending me twenty four hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, and, and the weird thing about Steve not seeing her that morning, how do we even know she was there? Right. That's a, that's what I was going to say earlier. Because they sleep in separate rooms and he saw her at nine when he was going to bed and then he left, but he didn't see her, but he saw the car in the driveway. Right. That's all I can verify. So but my how, how do my, I know that she was in the house? See, my thing is this, too. Right after uh, they couldn't find her, their mom, if I couldn't find my mom and she had a rental car, like we were talking about earlier, the first thing I'm doing is calling that rental car company and be like, hey, I need the, the, the license plate and the, the make and model of the vehicle so I could give it to police or I'll have them contact you. Well, yeah, I mean, they right. right. somebody obviously right. called the rental car place because they had the radio track. Mm -hmm. Why not get the information then? Well, usually rental car places also have GPS on their cars in case you try to steal them. They'll go and have them yeah, towed. And I thought up. so. Especially the newer cars. That one would have been picked up. It's a 20. It's probably like a $30,000 vehicle. Of course, they're going to have a GPS. Yeah. Yes. I mean, they would have been able to track it through that and not needed the satellite radio stuff. Now, there's so much that's bizarre about this case that just doesn't add up. Right. All right. But I don't I don't think it's going to take police long to figure it out, especially if it's the boyfriend and the daughter involved, oh, because right. well, so I don't think there are any criminal no masterminds. She had no enemies. No, everybody loved right. her. And right. people on drugs will do anything without even obviously they're not thinking they didn't, you know, mastermind this plot because it is what it no, is. As a matter of fact, I think that they they thought it out a little bit i think it was like like the um, why they were trying to connect uh the lights to the bathtub to the to the washer and dryer okay. and to the toilet so every time that they flush the toilet that it would turn on the shower and all the lights in the house and the fans some tw <laughs> some, tw some tweaker <laughs> mathematics yep um right. and they're like dude we got a good plan we need money let's off your mom yeah <sighs> yeah i have a lot of people comment to me about you know tweaker behavior and this sounds like something a tweaker would say and i'm like i don't have any experience with that so i don't know but okay so say amanda goes to meet with her mom the night before for dinner to talk about this loan her mom says no way in hell well the boyfriend's not having it the daughter's not having it they're pissed off at, at the mom the best way i mean we see it all the time yeah. You know, money, yeah, I mean, if she went money, home money, and she's money, like, or, money or love triangles, you got to follow both of those, right? You know, if she's like, hey, mom's not going to help us get you into this rehab or whatever we needed the money for. And then they're sitting there like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Maybe that sounded like the only possible thing they could do. Or go on the run. They were going to go but, on the run and they needed some money for hotel stay and stuff. True. Or, yeah, drug, I mean, or they, maybe they were fronted drugs that they had to pay off. Who knows? I think there's a lot of options. Well, yeah, and on the police report saying it was drug related, but the drug was unknown. What what led them to think it was drug related? Right. There had to be something at the scene that pointed to that. But it's marked hmm. on the report that the drug type is unknown. That's weird. Mm. Fentanyl. That's very weird. So I want to know what pointed to it being drug related. I know I've heard that that area is is a drug area with you know a lot of buying, selling, moving it through the area. But right. what would make them think that this had anything to do with drugs? Is why she was killed. I don't know. Right. I mean, Unless something was left behind. Yeah, well, I mean, it would have to be like maybe something they found like maybe in that red tote. Or unless, like I said, unless she went to maybe they owed maybe the daughter owed money to a drug dealer and the mother said, you know, I'll go pay it. That way they don't bother. They don't hurt you. 
and went to meet with them and mm -hmm. they won't let me go. They're not going to let me go. I love you. Here's the money back, you know, in case they come after you. I mean, it even be, I've had people suggest to me that with the mom's back problem, was she on pain meds? Were they trying to get the pain meds from her? I mean, it could even be something as stupid as that that led to this. Well, I mean, I guess that could be possible, too. I mean, we know there's a big problem with people being addicted to painkillers. At any age, yeah. Right. Yeah, there's so many different directions. Like, this rabbit hole goes all over the place. We really want to find out uh, why she's, what's the chunk of money for? And, and is that a norm, normal thing that her daughter would get from her mom? Uh, like a, a one time a month kind of deal or, or really well, she had her before, but not for that amount. Never for that. She amount. started getting, yeah, she started getting money from that account in August, I believe. I don't know if I can find that real quick, but it had a note then that said uh, from Debbie Collier to Amanda Bearden. Which for me, if it was me, I would put two, two whatever kids from mom, but. Right, but, I, but it was coming from Steve's account, right? Because they share account. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah, it, it showed Steve Collier and then the note part said from Debbie Collier to Amanda Beard. Yeah, I have those. I uh, actually have that. Yeah. Right. And I don't remember if that was the beginning of August that that started, but that's when the money started moving between Steven, Debbie's, Venmo, and Amanda. It was, but it wasn't for did they bail, an amount like this. Did they bail Amanda's boyfriend out of jail originally? I don't know. I just saw that apparently they supported Amanda through her legal troubles, but I don't know if that includes bailing him out as well. Well, if he's out, if he's out but on probably. bail, if he's out on bail, that means their house is uh, probably collateral or something, uh, and like they have to, you know, part of the conditions is probably that he's got to be, you know, under supervision of the person who bonded him out. Um, I'm not sure. Why would I mean if he's if they're this bad into drugs and there's such a problem, I don't understand why they're staying in that house unless it's a forced takeover. Like I'm not, le we're not leaving, kind of thing. Right. <clears throat> Okay, here. I don't know if I spelled his name right before. It's G I E G E R I C H. Got it. Yeah, Somebody posted that's, that. That's right. It's like Gigrick or something like that, I think. Yeah, some silent letters probably. I'm trying to see. <laughs> right? Silent letter G. I know, right? <laughs> probably like Knack. Okay, right. so. Their incident in May of 2021, uh, Andrew got a fast track arraignment for June of 2021 because it was his second or subsequent arrest for family violence. And they put a ban on him contacting Amanda. And then September of 2021 is when he broke the order because he said she was stealing his money. So then he got arrested for a DUI and a bunch of other stuff. So let me and was ask, given twelve months probation. Let me ask you a question. Then he, is it mm -hmm. is it possible that um, Amanda doesn't go in the morning with them, and her boyfriend uh, obviously somehow gets in the car with uh, Debbie. They go for a drive. The reason why Amanda doesn't call for two hours is because she's got to pick her boyfriend up and drop him back off somewhere. Right? If he's a Yeah, because whoever left the scene didn't take Debbie's car. No, so they would so how did they a, leave? They would have needed a ride out of there or an Uber. Or they had their car stashed somewhere nearby. I would say that they would just have the other person pick up. I mean Amanda yeah. did go to the mm -hmm. scene, right? I mean she has to show so up. here's the latest. He got arrested again for violating his probation on August 26th. That's when he was ordered to serve six days in jail and show proof he had entered a substance abuse treatment program within 20 days. He went to jail to do the six days on September 16th and was back home on Friday. 
but they're still supposed to be banned from seeing each other, but they're living together. Right. I mean, unfortunately, we see that a lot that happens. I mean, there's Mm -hmm. people that's even got restraining orders against each other and they're living together now. So August 26th, he gets told that he has to do the substance abuse thing within 20 days. So it fits the timeline. Hmm. Now, putting that in line with when Debbie went missing, that would that would line that up to be close to his deadline for turning himself in, wouldn't it, for the rehab? Yeah. Yeah. Because he he had to have that proof to the court, and then he served his six days on the 16th. They found her on the 11th. Yeah. So he would have been needing to get that proof and turn that in, and then I assume say, hey, I'm going, as soon as I get out of jail, I'm going to go to the facility but he's not at a facility right now. Right. Probably got an extension on his court date too, because of all of this. Right. Probably. Probably. I'm sure he did now. I agree. It would probably be better to get him into jail because once he's in jail, then you got, you already got him there and you don't really need to hold him in interrogation or anything like that. You got, you can do all the work while he's in jail. Right. Yep. That's why I'm surprised they let him out. Because he went in on the 16th. They served that search warrant on the 14th at their house. He went in on the 16th, but he came home Friday. So hmm. I would think if they were looking at him that they might not have let him out after the six days. But I don't, could they keep him? Only if they had something he was they only, could hold him on. They'd have to have something to keep him on, yeah. Yeah. If they can't well, they, come yeah, up, they can't he was only ordered to hold him on, then they have to if let him go. If he didn't have proof of rehab, they could just violate his probation or whatever. Oh, that's true. Right. Well, yeah, that's true. They could do that. But since he was only ordered to six days, does that mean, okay, we have to let him go after six days? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they, they would have to unless he's, you know, unless, like they said, they're going to hit him with a violation for not, you know, turning himself in for the for the rehab or something like that. Right. I don't, know what the, I don't know what the paperwork process is on that. I mean, there may be a like a turnaround time on that. They could still pick him up again for that. Well, what if it's a situation like he maybe he is registered to go to rehab, but they don't have a bed available until a certain date. Right. So he's waiting well, until that time to go. That's possible. There's that too. That's possible. But you know what? They are, they also said that there's going to be answers here soon for us. Person of persons of interest, persons right. too, multiple. Persons. Yeah. Daughter. And that's where that, and that's where that Venmo probably could screw things up for people too. Like they won't let me go. Like they yeah. they can't say he or she can't let me go. Right. Right. They mm-hmm. they meaning more than one. Right. And then they put them so that's a tweaker move. They screwed up. They overthought it. Yep, right. I really feel like it's all going to yes. come back to that Venmo. Yeah, of course. That Venmo is going to be what bites them in the ass. Bites right. someone in an ass. If they find out who sent that Venmo, they're going to find out what happened. I think you're definitely on the right path, though. I'll say that much. Sure. No, that's, that's what insomnia does to my brain. We've all been. Makes makes me think weird things. We've all (laughs) been. I'll tell you. Well, we'll definitely we'll we'll be in touch, and uh, you guys go over to the uh, her channel. If you guys could post this country girl's life, uh, her channel in the chat uh, again, please, and uh, like, share, and subscribe. Go over there right now and do that. I appreciate you calling. I'm gonna do my first live tomorrow. Uh, Let me know. I'll I'll, I'll text you. Text me when you do it, and I'll. uh, I'll, I'll share it out. I'll jump in there. Okay, cool. Just send me your number. For sure. Dago, All right. Dago, Talk to you later, guys. Dago said if you guys need if you need anything, we're here to help you, too. Absolutely. All right. All right. Thank you guys so much. No problem. Thank Absolutely. You. you have a great day. All right.